Everybody, this is the Very Vibrant Makeup Channel and I'm going to do a little review, well not little, it's going to be kind of in depth, of the Tartlet palette. And I finally got my hands on one. I've been dying for one in every single place I went to, Ulta, Sephora, sorry I'm trying not to drop all my stuff here. They were all out so I wanted to talk to you about this palette. Let's talk about the palette. Um, So here's the Tartlet palette and I'm going to swatch these on my arms so that you guys can see what the colors look like. There's my arm. So here is the first color. The first color I want to show you is Free Spirit. I'm just picking these up with a flat brush. You can't even see that. Can you see that? Just one swipe does that. They're a little, little chalky, but you know what? I think it's worth it. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. There, there is some fallout to the colors, um, but it's, gosh, can you even see it on my arm? There it is. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this is Free Spirit. This is an absolutely gorgeous color. It's a good highlighting shade. I think you guys would enjoy it. It's a little bit chalky with the fallout, but it's real creamy um, consistency. A little bit and the pigmentation I think is worth it so that is free spirit so I'm just trying to put my palette here next is force of nature force of nature is the this color right here and that's how it swatches you can barely see it on my arm but it's there it kind of matches my skin tone a little bit but it is a beautiful beautiful, um, I would say a nice transition color um, for olive skin tone, medium skin tones. So um, it's it's got some fallout, but it's pretty nice. The pigmentation doesn't show up quite on my skin because of the fact that it is, you know, <laughs> my skin tone. Okay, so next color is Dreamer. That is Dreamer. Oops. See, I'm making a mess. I cannot swatch these very well. Anyways, this is Dreamer. Dreamer, as you can see on my arm, is a lot darker. I would imagine you could use this for crease colors, um, something to just kind of put more depth to your eye. It's very nice. There is a lot of fallout, as I'm discovering. Um, but it is actually very, very nice. I like it. Next color is Multitasker. Multitasker is a lot darker. And it is more cool tone brown. Well, not really. It's just a darker shade. Maybe a tad cooler, more neutral. Um, brown so it is just a absolutely gorgeous color I really really like it it is just it's phenomenal these colors they really are pigmented so if you were to create like a really good natural eye this would be a nice little trio you could do or trio quad you can do I can't count sorry so I'm gonna go in with the next line the next line is these kind of more purpley shades. Um, I'm going to start off with Caregiver. Caregiver is, sorry about the sun, the sun's so bright. Caregiver is a very pale petal pink. You can barely see it on my skin, but it's there. Let's swatch it on my arm here. So there is, sorry about that, the sun is coming out and it's really screwing up my swatches here. So that's Caregiver. It is a soft 
petal pinky rosy color I think would be nice for a lid shade when you're doing these colors in that row because these colors actually all go together really nice so um, yeah that's just gorgeous I'm gonna swatch it on this side of my arm next is natural beauty natural beauty is this next color right next to caregiver and you can barely see it I'm gonna have to switch back and forth okay there you go so this is the color it is a beautiful beautiful crease color it is more on the mauve side and it's just absolutely gorgeous it would just I could just see this eye look that's what I love about this palette the palette has looks you can create you can mix and match them and they just give you inspiration to do different looks and more matte looks more natural looks but they're just nice next color is best friend it's a plum color it's just a little darker than the natural beauty but it's absolutely gorgeous it is a plummy mauvey color and it's more on the brown side a little bit maybe um but it's absolutely gorgeous i absolutely love it it's perfect and then last on this row is bombshell bombshell is a very dark color as you can see extremely dark color but if you look at these colors together let me just get a bit more of yeah. If you put these colors together, it would create a beautiful look for brown eyes because brown eyes do take purples very well. And these on the are on the warm purple side, but these are just gorgeous for just every day or even um, a night out and just go a little heavier on the darker colors. So yeah, this is that row. Last row I'm going to talk about is the the last bottom right here let me just uh adjust my lighting a little well my lighting should look fine anyways this color is super mom <laughs> i love it if you're a mom and you have a color called super mom on your eyes you should feel pretty proud so this is super mom it is maybe a tad warmer than free spirit it's more on the yeah it's more on the no actually no it's actually a neutral shade it's absolutely neutral free spirit's a lot warmer is what i'm trying to look at here but it's a good um shade i mean i'm sorry these swatches are very powdery but they are absolutely gorgeous in person they really are so that's super mom next is wanderer Wanderer is also another, um, sorry, I'm like out of camera. Um, it is a warmer transition shade. It's just beautiful, warm toned, light, light brown. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, next is Power Player. This is a medium taupey brown color. It is absolutely gorgeous. I probably don't have the best brush to pick this colors up. But yeah, I will put them on my fingers so you can see a lot better. Um, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful uh, taupe brown. And then the last color is Fashionista, which is a black. Ooh, the fallout. It is a blacky brown color, or is it black? I think it's black. It is black. Of course, the black that I favor is from the Smoked Palette um, from Urban Decay, but this is not too dark, not too light. It's just right. So this is an actually very good black for those who don't want it too black. So that's that. Let me pick up the colors on my fingers so you can see how pigmented they really are and they do have a lot of fallout so I'm just going to pick up these see there's free spirit force of nature dreamer multitasker they're very pigmented 
Next line here, there's caregiver, natural beauty, best friend, and bombshell. Bombshell is a bit chalkier when you touch it, not as creamy as the other ones, but yeah, that's what they look like on my fingers. Next and the last row, super mom, wonder, power player, and fashionista. They're pretty chalky, yes, but the color payoff is absolutely gorgeous. So, those are the swatches. I hope you guys enjoyed my little swatch and review, not really review, but just kind of overall um, thoughts about the Tartlet palette. This is a great palette. I absolutely love it. I think it's, I mean, I would prefer a bold blue or a bold pink or a bold purple over a matte natural shade. And this has blown me away. For it to do that to me, it's really cool. Because this is something I can use every day, anywhere, anytime, slap on makeup, and I can slap out on the, an eye real quick with this thing. I absolutely love it. I think it's perfect for everyday wear, and it's just, yeah. Doesn't mind that the package is wonderful too. So yeah, I'm so happy I purchased this. Um, if you haven't seen it in the stores, the Tarte.com, Tarte.com has it, so you can purchase it there. And they also include a sample. I got a sample of the Amazonian clay, which I've been dying to try, so I'm gonna see how that goes. Um, yeah, so not bad, and it got here pretty quick. So thank you for watching, and I hope